Stay ahead. A Western New Yorker has arrived in South Korea to compete in the Winter Olympics. And Daybreak Stephanie Barnes is here to share Trisha Mangan's last minute journey. Good morning, Steph. Melissa Pete, good morning. It's hard to imagine what Trisha is feeling right now. I just got off the phone with her actually, and I think it's safe to say she's not even sure what she's feeling right now. She's been on the Olympic hunt for years and thought she was waiting another four years before getting a shot again. But then she got the call yesterday. A teammate is injured and she is next in line. The chain of events started this past week in Germany. U.S. Alpine skier Jackie Wiles suffered significant leg injuries in a crash that closed the door for Jackie, but opened the door for Trisha, who has been working her way up, competing at the World Cup level this year, earning enough points to qualify as an Olympic alternate and now drop the alternate title because she is on the U.S. Olympic ski team. Here's what she had to say about getting the news yeah I had woman's coach called me and told me and I immediately called my parents and told them and started crying when I called them it's pretty incredible that I'll be racing just at the Olympics in a couple of days Pretty incredible indeed. She tells me her parents and five siblings are still here in Western New York. They're working on getting to South Korea by the time she competes in the giant slalom this coming Monday. Trisha grew up with her family in Derby. She started this now Olympic bound ski career at Holomon when she was just three years old and she was homeschooled through eighth grade before attending Narden. And guys get this when she's not actually skiing, she attends Dartmouth where she studies biomedical engineering and she's got a 3.9 GPA. Pretty incredible woman. I don't know what she can't do. Yes. She's got